In this video, we're going to be taking the engine out of this GMC Jimmy. But we're going to do it slightly different. Because we're going to take the body off. But it's going to be rough. So I've got Curtis helping me today. And um, we're going to lift the body off, hopefully. And so we can get to the engine and gearbox easy. And see the layout of all the running gear on this car. So, I thought we'd have a last walk around before she gets scrapped. There is nothing, it's a shame really I haven't got another Jimmy, but there is nothing on this car that we're going to salvage. Maybe some bulbs, alloy wheels. That's it. Not even the radio. Everything's going. So, stick around. So it hasn't taken us all that long, has it? No. What, two, two and a half hours? Eh? Not 12 o'clock, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's quarter to one. Huh? It's quarter to one. Oh, fuck, I feel like it. Language, Timothy. <laughs> so, we're going to lift it up at the back, take the stands out, we've opened the window and we're going to try and lift the body off. This could be very, uh, very interesting. Right, let's go. Okay. Get ready to take these stands off. So that's how you get a GM body off. It was quite easy. We missed a few little bits and pieces, I must admit, but look at all this lot we've got to work with. Let's go and have a look. So you can see how easy it is to work on now, or scrap. We can get the catalyzers off. That's easy. We can get the downpipe off. Easy peasy. We'll do that after dinner, Curtis. We'll get all that lot off. Yep. Look, we didn't even damage the bloody gear stick. Amazing. We've got the fuel pipes all connected up. Oh, hell, I think we'll just build it back up again. Anyway, that was fun, wasn't it? And you can see, now we can see the engine, how small it is. It's not bad at all. And we didn't damage anything on the engine. Cut through a few power steering hoses and a few wires and stuff like that, but that's not good. So I think this afternoon we'll get that motor out. And then, this, then that chassis can be scrapped, can't it, Curtis? We put the body back on, just wheel it off to scrap. So there you go. Next thing, get the engine out. See, the transfer case bolts on here. So you can see there's plenty of uh, room for messing about. Yeah, what a 
beast. And you can see on North American cars they put the drive shaft in the middle and then the front shaft comes out on the left hand side. So it would have been nice to use this transfer case but we can't use it. So there we go. Happy days Curtis. I hear you. There you go. Right we'll, we'll see you in a moment when we get this engine out. So we've slackened off what's left, uh, the prop shafts have gone, the exhaust gone, engine mounts gone, gearbox mounts gone, so now's the time to try and lift it out. What if they do this in GM?
up, put it on the trailer. Well, take, we can pick it up, take the wheels off, yeah. put it on the trailer because I want the alloy wheels. Okay. Then put the body back on. Good, isn't it? Yeah, put it in there. Yeah, so that's it. So now it's all done, it's all out the way. We've got the engine and box out. Really poor design because there's no lifting eyes on the engine or gearbox, there's nothing. So, uh, yeah, so it's out. Next thing is get it all to bits and make sure it's going to fit. Anyway, <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye.